Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Fallout Prime series, Amazon Prime Fallout. Uh, I watched it, I really enjoyed it, had a good time with it, but it is receiving a bunch of hate from people that played uh, 1 and 2, and apparently New Vegas as well. It's sort of shitting on some things pre-Bethesda, allegedly in terms of the lore. Uh, it has, however, the series, led to a significant boost in people playing all of the games, but... Probably one of the main reasons why you clicked on this video. People are being really weird about the main character, Lucy. Yeah, they're trying to ship her off as a leather. Because reasons. People are very strange. Very strange. There was a whole host of LGBTQ, they, thems, inclusion, DEI, whatever you want to call it, in Fallout as a show. And for everyone uh, that had played 1, 2 all of the games there has always actually been a significant amount of that level of representation uh, in the games it has had quite a lot of it actually so it's not exactly like this game this game this video game adaptation went overboard with it um, you can say it's woke in kind of modern day i'm sure but they're going a bit a bit too far because apparently even though you got a ton of it in the show because there is a ton of it it's not thrown in your face though so shopkeepers you know there's there's a same-sex couple there um there's a non-binary uh, brotherhood of steel character what looks to be anyway so there is you know elements of it in the show it's not enough it's never enough for these people you can't please these people so anyway we're going to dive into that today hit subscribe if you're new here turn the bell notifications on let's take a look right so the fallout game series overall has had a huge boost huge boost um massive massive amount so fallout new vegas fallout 4 and fallout 76 um so it's done really well in terms of its uh, concurrent player peaks here you go F sit here fallout new vegas good good amount to be fair um fallout 4 and fallout 76 fallout 4 seems to be what most people are kind of clicking on but to break it down because it's done really well um fallout 2 hit a steam peak players of 1000 not bad i mean that's an old game right original fallout you know 1997 2300 players so people are back in it basically people are really back trying to play it uh, so it's done really well, like, in terms of the overall players. Fallout 76, 39,000 players. That That's a record, which is crazy. More popular now than it was when it launched, which is probably for the best because it was shit when it launched. I don't know what it is like now. Fallout 4 has done really well, 83,000. Uh, so that's blown up. Uh, more than tripling its normal player count. Uh, I can't remember if it said about New Vegas. Uh, you can kind of see it down there anyway, so it's crossed over. Uh, the old 10,000 mark. So they've done really, really well. Really, really well. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's never enough, ladies and gents. It's never enough. Fallout is a wonderfully weird, funny, and bold post-apocalyptic tale. But is it queer? Well, if you speak to these people, who are apparently absolutely insane... They, they, yep, it, it is. Look at this. This is going to be her season two storyline, manifesting it now. And it's her checking her pit boy. And it says, results loading, lesbian. What's wrong with people? Why do they want this so bad? Very, very weird. But let's take a look and see what this article says. I mean, you ha surely you've had enough representation. Did you not? <clears throat> there was enough in there? No? Was there not? Apparently not. Um... But anyway, basically, Fallout comes from uh, Jonah. I thought it was Jonathan Nolan, but yeah, Jonah Nolan. Uh, Sharon is Genevieve Robertson Direct. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And then we scroll through here. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so this person has a partner. Uh, that you know, same-sex partner. Pretty normal stuff. Again, in Fallout, this is pretty normal stuff. They, they, kept, they, they, they kept it really well. But they say this, look, the question is, will gamers who are familiar with the franchise's queer history, that Fallout was one of the first games that allowed for same-sex romances, find as much to be thrilled about? Which is true, again, it is true. Uh, but they're like, the answer is yes and no. What do you mean yes and no? It's in there, you idiots. Uh, textual queerness is only fleetingly on screen. No, it's not. 
some of the most important characters that the main characters interact with are that. And none of the main characters, at least so far, have explored a queer romance. So? What's wrong with these people? Anyway, however, this question has been on the minds of Nolan, Robertson, Duret and Wagner, has it really? I think queerness embedded into the... Uh, embedded into the DNA of the franchise from the beginning and hopefully the show. I think it's one of the things that I found so exciting about the games when I played them. My first experience with the franchise, Fallout 3, was the fact that the games felt alive, subversive and satirical. That you had a real sense that there was nothing safe or restrained about these things. That they felt that they had the texture of the world with them. We've endeavoured to try to bring all of that feeling and all of that tone with us into the series. Was that it then? Right. Oh, there's more. Not that much, though. So they're going to incorporate queerness into it. We talked about a lot of the uh, topical stuff in the writer's room when there's racism in the world. Where's, you know, where's the queerness in the world, he recalls. I struggled with it a bit as a straight white dude. Oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. We're in this great moment where this is where there is finally money to tell queer stories. Mate, you're, you're, Fallout was telling those stories. What are we talking about? It's not my money. Those... Uh, our stories for queer stories tell us to tell. No, it's not. Anyone can tell them. I sometimes feel a little gun shy about tackling those issues because I know that there is a market for it. It belongs to my fellow writers who are from that demographic. No, it doesn't. That's weird and segregatory. And who can do a better job of it than me? But maybe that's a cowardly approach. I'm not sure. It's part of their conversation in the room every day. Right. Okay. So there's not really much here, but you can see them kind of trying to pad out this article. There's so many things that we want to keep exploring that we just didn't have time to do justice to in the first eight hours of our show, unfortunately. There's thousands of hours of gameplay in each game, and there were so many ideas that we had that we just didn't get to explore. Okay, so. There's uh, bits, though, if you do look for it. I don't want to give everything away, but in episode two, in Philly, there's there's certainly a hint of it. Two characters, that's the ones I mentioned, shopkeeps. And we hope to, spoiler alert, return to those characters in a future season if we're lucky enough to get one. So that's it. So there really, there's no there's no comment here about there being any sort of future element of stuff like that. Although they do ask, you know, are you going to build something new, more equitable, yes, queer, blah, blah, blah. One of the questions we've been asked is what would you ever, you know, what would, what would you need to survive the apocalypse? My answer to that question, which I think is an important part of the games, is not a shovel or a towel or both water, but community. It's one of the things that I was struck by when I first played Fallout. Cool. This apparently speaks to queerness within the universe, within this new world. It's a blank slate that people get to chart their own course and that these communities get to reassemble themselves within their own set of rules. Blah, blah, blah. That's it then. I mean, there's nothing really there. But, ladies and gents, my god, people have gone insane. Uh, where's the, uh, is this Lucy a lesbian take coming from? She was conditioned from birth. To believe that marriage, specifically reproduction and repopulation, is her sole purpose. I mean, it is literally the sole purpose of a human, in fairness, to repopulate. Which is why she jumps on basically any willing cishet man. Also, she's played by Ella Purnell. Right. That doesn't mean jack shit. Also, did you not watch the last episode? She literally went tongue to tongue with Maximus. I don't know how to break this to you, but a whole lot of lesbians have been with men before they figured it out. Right, okay. Motherfucker, she got dicked down by a dude in the first episode willingly and without trouble, offered to bust the open for Max, and then shared an intimate kiss with him. Did we watch the shame, same show? <laughs> brainwashing sure is a bitch, huh? Yeah, right, she's been brainwashed. I don't care how brainwashed you are, you're not having sex for no reason with someone you're not attracted to. Yeah, this is true. Which part of, it's been drilled into her head her whole life that she needs to reproduce with a cishet man that you having trouble understanding. I don't care if it was drilled into her head. You, you're you going to know who you truly are. And if you're gay, you're not going to, uh, on your own, sleep with random people of the opposite sex. Also, just remember, there is no stigma for LGBTQ relationships in the world of Fallout. This is very true. Uh, the Vault would probably have no issues with her having the guy be a sperm donor if she was gay. Okay, so, yeah, you're not understanding. Lol. Have a great day, I guess. You're in denial. These people are legitimately mental. She's not gay enough. She needs to be more lesbian. Because these people are fucking batshit crazy. Like, legitimately batshit crazy. Here we go. Fucking hell. Cry about it. Yeah. Twitter users deciding your sexuality after looking at your profile for three and a half seconds. <laughs> oh my god. 
Uh, oh, a little too me a little too many men saying their opinions here. Oh, grow up. These people are insane. Anyway, there you go. I thought this was funny. It's not... It's Honestly, it's, ne it's never enough. It's never gay enough for these people. Give them an inch, they take a mile. That's legitimately what it is. Don't know what's going on with this. That is... Um, that's legitimately what it is. Anyway, I'm all blurry. Leave your thoughts down below. Take care. Bye-bye now.